Welcome, my name is Tishar and this is Starmate. The last time we left off we started on a new ship project and just for fun I loaded up a copy of the Radiant Dawn as a uh, sort of size comparison to the new ship. So if I move upward a bit you can see that the new ship is significantly smaller but it does follow the same design principles. So that's why I uh, want to uh, compare it a bit. Um, and the main uh, thing we were working on the last time were the engines at the back. Uh, they were still not complete. I only added the uh, side engines and the main engine just was added in general uh, shape. And of course we don't have a uh, bottom of the ship yet. It's all empty. So that's what we're going to work on today and hopefully we can complete the uh, hull of the ship and then we can uh, add some basic systems to it. And this is the design I came up with. I changed the size of the main engine to make it a bit wider to uh, make it fit with the rest of the, uh, the hull. Then wrapped the main armor around it uh, below here so it will continue into the main body of the ship itself and that should uh, nicely fit with the uh, rest of the line of the ship. So it's a bit different than I first imagined because I uh, laid out a round engine but I think this works out uh, uh, well enough and if we zoom out a bit in the flight mode you can see that if we move forward at least doesn't have a lot of engines yet but they do glow so that's uh, always nice and that's the uh, the main propulsion of this uh, this ship the next thing I wanted to do is add uh, some wing bits here on top just to uh, balance out the uh, line downwards the uh, 45 angle line um, and if you look at it from the back or directly from the front you see why you see it's just counterbalancing the uh, sloped wings to uh, downwards it's just uh, just enough and I also continued the hull from the main engine into the main body of the ship to see uh, how it would fit and I started working on this area and uh, the people that have seen the build process of the Radiant Dawn they, uh, they uh, will recognize this I think. This is my escape pod system. So the plan is to add, um, in this case because uh, it's in the middle, uh, two doors that open in the middle um, and then a escape pod will fire down from the main ship outside and then you can escape uh, the ship itself. That's the uh, idea behind it. And uh, I think that uh, it uh, is a good system to have on a bigger ship because uh, if something goes wrong then at least you have something to uh, to escape with. Smaller ships it's, it's more difficult uh, to incorporate because you have so little space but uh, in bigger ships I uh, tend uh, to do that. And uh, this will also fill out a nice area of the, uh, uh, the belly of the ship. I also added the armor plating, uh, at least the grey one uh, from the front in the middle here. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly if I like it like this. I just wanted to fill it in, just to have something to uh, work with. And I also need to think about what to do exactly with this front because it's a bit bare and not very interesting to look at yet. So I narrowed down the grey area a bit here in the front, added some additional blue armor uh, because I uh, found the uh, white grey area a bit too much uh, breaking up the armor. So I'll uh, go with this ID. And then it, uh, I think it fits nicely with this uh, kept off armor bit for the escape pods. I also added a uh, hatch over here, at least a place for it. Uh, because I had this idea to uh, move the worker bees 
uh, or at least one or two that this ship has uh, to a docking area below here instead of the docking area above here in the trunk of the ship basically um, my idea was to use this trunk as a cargo delivery system the same as the smaller Martin delivery ship and uh, I did that by implementing the like this the docking mechanism like this and then I had to lower the floor of the cargo area here one uh, block because this is a cargo pod that is nine blocks high and it only had eight available uh, you can still dock a worker bee here of course if you uh, remove this uh, this cargo pod but uh, it, it will mainly uh, be uh, designated for cargo I uh, uh, added some details to the walls as well for uh, for this area so I think this interior is a bit nicer looking now I also added a some door here and a window here uh, so we will build some sort of control area in this area here and then the access point here uh, so you can shoot out the uh, the cargo uh, pods uh, yourself if you wish so that's the uh, the main change and then the hatch over here will probably be in excess for a worker bee uh, drone bay or something similar that uh, that should fit my uh, main turrets of the ships are all at uh, odd angles now because uh, pirates do tend to come out and play sometimes and uh, it does prove at least that the turrets work for the uh, lighter ships they uh, take them out uh, relatively fast so at least it's a proof of concept uh, but yeah i don't have a lot of shields on the ship yet so i'll just uh, tend to delete the pirates themselves before they do uh, damage i continued working on the bottom section of the uh, main hull i completed these details over here we're still not finished uh, in the last uh, version and i changed the armor to this configuration now and added the antennas here at the bottom two additional ones uh, basically the same type of antennas as the ones I have in front and then I want to continue detailing this, uh, this section into this main front area over here so this is the main hull at least of the ship at the bottom done uh, so the complete ship is now uh, encased uh, in hull uh, we just need to focus on the additional details and bits and bobs that we need to uh, make this ship look good so we'll continue doing that I started adding some testing logic to see if uh, things work because I installed the hatches for the escape pods it's a two-part hatch so it will open left and right and this is a temporary button to, uh, to test it out so let's press it and there you go all three hatches open of course it's the uh, intentions to uh, to have one hatch open the moment you launch a escape pod so they will be individually controlled but uh, this is just for testing purposes to see if they uh, open correctly and animate correctly if you look inside you see that I've got some small uh, logic uh, display setup here and this will not be the final position because uh, yeah it will be in the way of all the systems and I did the same with the launching system over here for uh, the cargo pod so if we open it up like this you can press this button and it will shoot out the cargo pod. Well, it still does that flipping thing at the end. I still need to work on that, uh, but uh, it does work. And then you can uh, just flip it back like this, and it's in the loading position again. And then you can uh, reload the cargo pod itself. So that works as well. Just a proof of concept. Well, this is what I'm talking about. The front of the ship 
wasn't looking all that interesting. So I tried reshaping it by continuing this middle shape here all the way to the front, then adding some additional shapes to uh, jet out the, the antenna bits. And I even have spots for rockets at the front. And this thing over here, these dockers are basically my way to dock this ship to a USD port. Um, because I needed to find a spot for a door, I was thinking of placing it here, like this. And if I add these USD dock configuration, configuration over here, I don't think I like it very much for the line of the ship. Um, yeah, it breaks up the uh, look I'm going for, and I don't think that most USD uh, ports will be uh, able to dock a ship this large anyway. So I'll um, just use this front docking bit to uh, dock the ship at the front to a station or something else. And then we can always use the teleporters to get uh, in and out the ship, and these airlocks are just to get out if you really need to. And you can of course add a uh, USB configuration to it if you really want to, to be able to, uh, to dock it uh, anyway. But uh, for now I'll, uh, I'll leave that off the table uh, because uh, of looks. And like I said, because we do have the complete hull now, at least the shape of it, uh, we do have uh, the possibility to add the basic systems to the ship already. So I started adding the outer shield layer and this will also give me an idea how much shields this ship will have and uh, what the systems are going to be to support this, uh, this shield system. I also added the first part of the uh, well, tunnels I think you should call them for the escape chutes, the escape chutes uh, themselves. And that will uh, mesh nicely with the, uh, the outer hull now, so I know where everything is going to be. I also added some of the AMS turrets I needed for the uh, bottom part of the ship. So I've got one here at front, uh, two below the wing bits over here, and then two in the back over here to uh, face backwards for... Uh, Missiles that come from, come from the back or from below. So that will give me uh, full coverage of the whole ship. Uh, at least as AMS is concerned. The main turrets, uh, that's the additional advantage to have them configured like this, will be able to fire downwards as well. So the only thing this top side of the ship has uh, as an advantage is this main turret at the front. The rest should be uh, equally uh, distributed. I had this additional idea. Um, the first idea I had was to add a hatch to the bottom of the ship to uh, make an internal docking bay for my worker bees. But I think I like this idea better. I just have two docks, this one is empty, on the side of the ship that two worker bees can basically uh, lift, uh, take a lift with this, this main ship. Um, in this case it's a selfish worker bee, but I think for this ship I will be adding the uh, repair worker bee uh, version, so they can support this main ship by repairing blocks if needed. And then this main hatch, um, the plan I have now is to add a little surprise to it. This is going to be a small miner. So it will be uh, docked securely in, in this area. So it's not a uh, complete internal dock, but just an area where it can dock inside. So the plan is to have this ship go into enemy space. And if it is AI space or an enemy faction, that doesn't really matter. Uh, and mine enemy resources, basically. So you will deny your opponent resources and gain some resources yourself. That's the, uh, the idea at, at least behind it. Also made a small change to the door here. 
I recess it a couple of blocks and then added this um, slap on top of the button and on this side as well to make it match so it wouldn't uh, be noticed as much uh, I like it better in the uh, horizontal line of the ship now okay I started messing around with the uh, detailing of the uh, top part of the ship so I changed the front of the uh, detailing uh, quite a bit added these additional armor panels added some details to the uh, blue area where the main turret is located then continued from there adding detail to the uh, main housing of the turrets on the side and some additional panels here and then did some line work in the back area um, I think this is the look I'm going for it's a bit bushier than I uh, did for the Radiant Dawn but I did like uh, the way I did the um, what do you call it the bushy uh, detailing work I did for the uh, the station uh, for the uh, Starmada server I was on at the time so it will be a bit like a circuit board uh, that's the uh, general thought behind it at least so uh, we'll continue this uh, type of detailing and then uh, also apply that to the uh, bottom of the ship itself and then we should be as good as complete with the outer hull of the ship itself at least the way it's going to look well the detailing of the top part of the ship is done I moved the wing a bit, a bit upward and a bit forward so they will match a bit more with the uh, lower wing and that gave me a bit more space to add this uh, additional line work uh, like this I also added the antenna on top of the ship I did it the same way I did with the uh, Radiant Dawn just a docked entity uh, rotated at a 45 degree angle and that uh, worked out uh, really well so this is the for now final look of the top part of the ship so this detail style will continue at the bottom as well and this is the detailing pass I did on the bottom section of the ship so it's all complete as well added some additional panels to the grey area here uh, moved this AMS to the bit to the back and continued on like this with additional uh, lines and, and panel like uh, structures I did move these emisters as well one block down and then added this additional armor layer to break up this area a bit looks uh, way nicer now than I expected it uh, to turn out and a good thing to do if you working on a uh, ship like this with detailing if you go into flight mode just uh, zoom out in free camera mode just turn your ship around a bit just look at it from different angles and see how it turns out look at it in uh, different light settings because yeah now you can see the bottom of a ship a whole lot better in the sunlight than you did in the shade and just check for inconsistencies well, in this case I think it is done for now the ship at least the hull is complete we've got the engines we've got uh, the wing bits we've got all the turrets in place so it is already somewhat operational so now we only need to add the interior and the systems that's for next time I hope you enjoyed this episode let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you next time